Yeah, back in just outside of a little village called, I think it's Braithwaite. Forecast is full sun all day. First summit of the day should be Grisdale Pike. And I'm looking at doing five today. But I'll tell you which five later on. First person I've seen there all morning so far. He said, uh, you haven't lost the end of your walking pole, have you? So if anybody wants some good quality walking poles reviewing, send me an email. Because I tell you something, I go through walking poles like a knife goes through butter. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with them. Anyway, the, the hard work's going to be starting there now. Or I should say the even harder work is going to start there. It's like time for the jacket to come off, down to shorts and the t-shirt, I think. Right, let's get it done. So I'll be sure they can see where we've came from. I'm supposed to be going out, I think, the week after next with uh, Chris from uh, Body Lads on Tour. Looking at the forecast so far, it's not looking very promising, to be honest. I mean, Chris is a, a four-season a hiker and a four season camper. I'm a fair weather hiker, so fingers crossed that uh, weather improves. But I'll tell you some of these views absolutely stunning. And we've still got some up to go yet, and this is just the first one. I'm actually supposed to be doing five today. I think I've been going about an hour and a half there now. I haven't done one yet. <laughs> We're getting a lot of these scrambly bits. A lot of shale coming up here for the last 10 minutes or so. And then now it's a bit of a hands and feet scramble. One thing the camera never ever shows how steep it is. I'll tell you something, this is steep coming up here and a very little respite. I suppose it's going to make it all the more sweeter when I eventually do get to the top. So a loose grey and uh, a lot of hands and feet from there. And then it's just like, looks a rocky climb to hopefully the summit, but you never know. I've been on so many false summits before. Just wait and see when we get up there. And that is some pull up there. <sighs> I'm knackered. First time I've been out actually, since I did Ben Nevis last month. Me and Mrs. Metalman both uh, caught the colds from hell. We had to come back from Scotland a couple of days early. She was so poorly. I started to get it there and I was flat out in bed for over five days. And uh, it absolutely drained us. So. Maybe it's not the uh, the best choice uh, for the first time out in uh, five weeks. Top of Grisdale Pike, 2,600 feet, 790 meters. None of this driving three quarters of the way up and just walking the last 10 minutes. This was up all the way around. See all the way over into Scotland. Oh, what a fabulous sight that is. So that's where we park there, Breath, Breath Wit. And then we went all the way up to Grisdale Pike. So I'm just sort of out round about here there now. Well, I am there in the shelter. And then we're going to drop down a bit further, go around Hopegill, Hopegill Head, come down here, Sand Hill, and then around Crag Hill or Eel Crag uh, sail out of sight 
and then all the way back. Looks very, very easy on the map. <laughs> uh, let's see if it is. So that's where we've dropped down from. And we've got a bit more climbing to do. Yeah, get up here, get up here, get over there. Then we're gonna see the path going round. So a further drop down from there. And then we're climbing again all the way up to there. So there's been plenty of ups and plenty of downs. Uh, I was hoping it was going to be like more of a ridge walk, which fair enough, it might be yet. So that's where we came down from Grisdale Pike. We'll follow the ridge and we'll climb back up again to drop all the way back down. And then we've got the final push just up there. Oh, what a gorgeous day. Oh man, not a cloud in the sky, sun out and it's just nice for walking. Hopgale Head, 770 metres, just over two and a half thousand feet. Eelcrag is the next one. I need to move <laughs> again. Too much talking, but a day like this, everybody wants to chat, uh, including me. It's just such a gorgeous day, and no matter which way you look, the views are absolutely immense. But come on, let's get cracking. All we need now is to get up there. Whew, jacket's off again, doing the hard work and uh, full sun. It's not that hot to be honest. But you can see over my shoulder where we dropped down from and then we're uh, up there and then dropped all the way down to here. We've just started basically about five minutes on this side path. And I'm hoping it's going to take us round the back of Eelcrag. We need the left and it looks quite a nice little walk to the top of Eelcrag. We could also take a right and we could go up there and we could do a grass mower. Anyway, that's where I'm heading. Whew, run a bit now. But then again, I keep uh, thinking of the, the unknown uh, travellers, Simon and Elaine. They did this not that long ago and uh, I always think if they can get up there, I mean fair enough for me, Elaine's only in her 30s but uh, Simon must be pushing 70 so if they can get up, so they are. And what a welcome sight that is, Hill Crack or Crack Hill, whichever you want to call it, it's the same can but, uh, and uh, quite an impressive one as well so let's go up there and uh, have a rest against this. Top of Hillcrag, we have 135 metres, highest point of the walk, like 2,746 feet. Yes. sketchy coming down there mate. Yes very sketchy indeed. That was uh, quite dodgy actually and uh, haven't said that uh, it wouldn't be a, an Alan Metal Man walk without it being certain areas being a bit dodgy and I'm not talking about the filming either. So I did not enjoy coming down there at all to be quite honest. You know when you stand to blow a bit you've had to come all the way down there And you've got to scramble all the way up there, which is not the top, by the way. You start to think to yourself, I'm not pleased that you said I was going to do five. So, Wayne Wright, number four of the day, sail. And that's where we came down from. And from here, you can see where we started this morning in the village, up the ridge, over there down around up down shaking it all about 
Gott. Puh. One more to do on the way back. Oh, what a day though. This weather is unreal. What a good day. I've really enjoyed it. I think the path forks over there. So I think that side over there is Causey Pike. Or you can go left to outer side. Oh god, these views. Absolutely amazing. Really enjoying the day. That's where we came down from. And there's a little crossroads here. So I would say up there, Causey Pike. And the left down to outer side. This morning when I was feeling nice and fit and fresh. <laughs> I was considering doing the detour up to uh, Causey Pike and then coming back at myself in order to get in out the side as well. But uh, anyway, now that I'm blown a bit, I think I'll leave that for another day. The last one of the day. So another big up. I assumed that after the hard work this morning, that the vast majority of this was going to be just ridge walking. Maybe a few little ups, a few little downs. I didn't realise how many ups and how many downs. And I say right at the end of the day, we've still got another big one to go up. Looks like a little path there and I can see people going up that way. There's somebody I can see just getting to the top there. Oh God, I wish that wasn't me. Oh well, only one way to get there. Put that hard work in again. And that's it. Out the size. Win weight number four. No, rain weight. Oh, I can't even speak. So tired. Win weight number five for the day. Down there is the village there. I'm packed about half a mile up the road. And I'm absolutely ghost there now. Right. I'm going to beast it back to the car. <laughs> Said nobody ever. One last look. That was another horrible descent. Only one fall. Luckily, I fell back into a seating position, so I didn't really hurt myself. But uh, yeah, every time we had to come down, the descents uh, on, I would say, three out of the five haven't been very nice at all. So either way, I'm going to plough on. That village doesn't seem to be getting much closer, to be honest. I was on this path before, and uh, I came to a fork in the road. And this one came round, the other one went up. And I thought over to where I wanted to go, so I went up all the way up. I've had to come all the way down to meet the path that I was on half an hour ago. <sighs> and I'm looking forward to getting back to the car there now. See what Mrs. Metalman's got on the on the menu tonight. I tell you something, I'm absolutely ravenous. Or if you have watched the video this far, uh, thank you very much. It's uh, very much appreciated. And if you've enjoyed the video, click on the like button. Uh, that's appreciated as well. And why not consider subscribing? So I tell you something, it won't be too long before I'm back out again. Cheers.